everybody and welcome back to my channel this is Anna it's Saturday night and it is a little bit past seven I'm in here in my craft room finally you're gonna hear my children um, I was trying to do a little something something in here and then I said you know what I haven't shared with them what I created for my December daily and I did it really different well first let me see uh, yeah, I already have showed you guys that. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, well, I was starting to work on this, and then I just stopped. I just literally stopped. But what I can do, watch out, Bubba. But what I can do is I can actually make my December daily for next year with this. And I can work on it throughout the year until I'm done. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this baby. And I had already shown you this book that I had altered um, from the Dollar Tree. It was one of their little glitter books. And I've already, I already started writing personal, personal things on here. So I don't want to, I don't really want to share that with you guys. But there are some like that. You see, I've already written all through there. And I shared this with you guys before. Did I write over here? Yeah, I wrote it right there in a minute. Like that one. See, I wrote on that side, but maybe you can just see that. And I just, you know, I decorated it. See, I wrote all through here. And I just, you know, um, chose. I wrote, I wrote. Okay. And then I just used paper and whatever I had. And this is going to, this is going to, I'm going to use this because I didn't use a whole book yet um, towards, you know, the coming months as well. So this is just one that I like to grab periodically. Now, I know I'm shaking you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then I think I already showed you this one. And this one, I was still decorating. I didn't get to use it because I was still decorating it. And this is all nothing but paper. And this is like when I was um, fussy cutting and what have you. And this was just very, you know, I used the papers and then I used different stickers and different um, card stocks just to put some simple pages together. And again, I can use this not just for fall but i can tuck it away for fall and then i'll almost be done because i do want to add just a few more things to it um but i can use this for other months as well because this one's almost really done um i just wanted to add just a few more things and it has my initial in the back and i use the twine now this is what i made for the month of december and again, I just used cardstock stickers. This was fabric. This was some cut, some cotton muslin that I used. And this is some ribbon. And I glued, I used glue. I had used my, um, this glue. This is the um, Designer Dries Clear um, Art Glitter Glue. This stuff's really good. I'm in love with it. Thanks to Jan's Crazy Life. You guys go check her out. Um, so I created this one and, um, I put the, I put the muslin first, then I did the strips of the ribbon, glued those down to make it like a binding. Then, um, I wanted a closure. So I glued some more muslin and then I cut strips there. And then what I did was I put, yeah, I put Velcro, literally put Velcro right there and, uh, glued the back. So I'll show you what I did because all these have pockets right here. And some of these pockets I have letters I've already written throughout the month. So um, I do have pockets in here. So I'll just show you some of the decor that I did with it. And these are washi stickers and what have you. I wish the lighting was better. Let me see. Okay, hopefully the lighting is better because I turned on another light. I'm trying to angle it so it could look better and i'm still trying to charge my phone too because it was about to it was about to give out okay so i'll do it again like this i'm hoping you guys can see it well okay. like that 
I can see there's like a shadow right here on this side. I'm trying to move all my stuff over. I got so much stuff here on my desk. It's ridiculous. Okay, so here we go. What need to do? So here's this one. And there's the washi and the stickers. And this is all made out of paper. And um, this was actually those tags that I got. Um, the little tags like this, little 3D tags from uh, the Christmas tree store. And then I put ribbon along here. I thought that came out really good. And again, all these have pockets at the end. And I have letters in some of them already. And that was a tag. And then just some random pieces of paper and some washi and then a little saying that I cut out from another piece of paper. Then this one that I added the little metal details and that was a tag and I thought it was really cute and I was trying to you know kind of trying to keep it kind of uniform. Again two different types of washies. These are some of the Dollar Tree metal stickers. This was a little tag. Added a random piece of paper, piece of paper over here and this one says Snowy Mountain. Because that said Merry Christmas there. And I thought it would look cute. This was a tag from the Christmas tree store again. This was washi and washi. I thought it came out really cute. Then this one says Ski Lodge. I kept it simple. Then this one says Ho Ho Ho. With the washi and then a little tag. Again another simple tag. And a little Dollar Tree sticker. And as I get in the back. As you can tell I'm not done yet. I'm not done. So you see the tags and the stickers. And then the cute little hand stickers there. I think these were from the Dollar Tree. And that was a tag. And then um, some washi. That's the wood washi that you see right there. And that's washi, a tag. And then a sticker from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree stickers. Really pretty paper. Um, this was a tag. Washi stickers from Dollar Tree. And then some stickers from Dollar Tree and some cute washi. And then just little simple stickers because I wasn't done yet. But I wanted to put something on each page. And again, these each page, each one is a folder. So I can put my letters in here. So that's what that looked like. I wanted to share that with you. And I want to show you three other things. Okay, I had, remember you guys when I had bought the, um, they were really cute, uh, drawers with the unicorns. Well, I glued all three of them together, as you can tell. I glued, I glued them all three. So now I have a really nice six drawers worth to organize and have unicorn goodness. So I was really happy about doing that. Then I did do this now do you guys remember when the Dollar Tree had these these really cute um, little sayings that kind of look like natural quartz um, well I had this from the Dollar Tree this one you remember that saying so I just took the back off I just ripped this off the back and it came out really easy with the metal it just rips right off and then you have a nice flat surface and I thought the orange lended itself very nicely to it. Then I put this, um, this was the calendar from the Dollar Tree that I had gotten. And I hadn't put together yet. And I went on ahead and I put the pieces in here together. And then I glued this on top. And this is follow your heart. So then I can use this for 2019 towards my goals and other things that I might want to jot down. And it's like just really cute and pretty, right? I fell in love with it. So I was really happy with that. Then this one I started, <laughs> remember this, this one when I bought from Dollar Tree, I wanted to create something different with it. So I started using my, um, the sharp, the, what's in here? I can't even, I can't even think today, you guys. I'm kind of like running on empty. <laughs> I'm already running on empty. I was using this to cut it. There we go. There we go. And I was going to make something different. Remember, I bought a backup one. Well, this is the first one, and I was just playing around with it because I wanted to cut it in half to make it almost like a dollhouse miniature, little miniature um, closet. But I ended up doing this, and I cut it in half, as you can tell. I cut it into different pieces, so maybe I could put it at the bottom of a bed. So I don't know. 
I still want to do the other, the other, um, the other idea. Then remember when I bought these, these really cute little, um, these, where did I get these from you guys? I don't think this was from the Dollar Tree. Was this from the Dollar Tree or somewhere else? I can't remember. And this is, this might've been from Dollar Tree. I can't remember, honestly. But I have bought them so I can make like little packages. And oh my goodness, one of my kids took one already. Okay, I have, I just made three. <laughs> no one's missing. Okay, one of the kids took one of them already. Oh my God, it took me a long time to make these because I made these all by hand. But these are from my dollhouse miniatures. I put like underneath of a tree. Um, I cut out the paper myself. and see, I was trying to hold it down that way. And I made my own boxes and everything. David, do you know? Is that Noah or David? Which twin? Get that out your mouth. Do you know where the Do you know where the other one is, David? Somebody took one of my little packages. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, I made these so they'd be like little toys, and I put little plastic in the mirror and in the little, you know, I did the little square cut out little that plastic. One. Then I cut, oh, thank you. Here's the other one. So I did a cat. I did a panda so far. And then I did the little monkey. The only bad thing about the little monkey was I didn't glue it down like I did these two. So it was like moving around. But I did use washi for that. And then I started working. All right, where's the last thing I was working on? Oh, I was sitting. Watch out, baby. You're going to you're gonna um, break the chair. Do you remember these boxes, these shadow boxes that we had gotten from the Dollar Tree? Well, I wanted to make like a dollhouse, a miniature scene in one. So I started with the um, background paper and then with the little faux wood flooring, which I used washi for. Uh, my paper didn't cut out right, so I had to like kind of <laughs> hodgepodge it. Woo! But you know what? It's my room scene and I can do whatever I want with it. So it's my party and I can cry if I want to. So that's what I'm doing with it so far. It looks like this in the back. You can put anything in it, obviously, but I think I'm going to, you'll see what I'll make with it. Once I'm done with it, I'll, I'll just give you guys a peek and let you see it. But I want to let you know that I did start on that. Definitely started on that. But I just wanted to show you some of the little things that I was tinkering around with here in my craft room. Because I was thinking about you guys and I was like, you know what? I hadn't, I haven't been in my craft room in a long time. And I also have meal. Um, that I got from my post office and I needed to share that as well. I'm going to do a separate video for that because I know the lighting's really bad in here right now because it's the middle of the night and I don't want you guys to like struggle trying to see, you know, the things that, uh, the things that I got, but I'm really proud with, um, the little paperwork, the little paper projects, these, um, dailies that I'm creating. And then the ones that are still like in progress of, um, it feels good to use what you have to get your creative juices going, to go through your, um, you know, when you go through your stock and your supplies and it's like you're shopping your own supplies and I'm using things up, you know, it's like I went through, I think like two or three sticker packs, um, within one day. And, you know, it's like, it kind of actually goes very quickly when you're working on a project. So, you know, the things that might have been sitting around for a while are no longer sitting around and are functioning and are, you know, um, being used for something that, um, you hand created, which is really, really nice. And it feels good. Now, this one is, is growing as you can tell, and since I had a lot of detail to the front. So I'm glad that I left that extra space here with the closure. And I did glue the back just so you guys know, I only put the Velcro and I got these Velcro um, tabs from the Dollar Tree. And I did add some of this glue to all four pieces to make sure that it adhered well. Just wanted to say that. <laughs> so I hope everybody's having a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. And my husband was talking about possibly going to the boat. I don't know. I'm, I I feel like I'm coming down with the kids, you know, with, with that, what, whatever it is that they had. I feel it. 
and I'm feeling kind of run down right now. I'm not feeling well as we speak. So I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Honestly, I just, I really just don't have a clue. If I could just stay in bed and hunker down, I would. I honestly would, but you know, I can't do that. So, uh, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? I did want to do another, um, what would you do series, um, WWD series about something that was really important that I heard about a few weeks ago. And uh, I have all the information. I took my notes down and everything. And I really just need to sit down when I'm having one of my better days and do the video for you guys. Because I think it's really important for you guys to know this information that I heard about a few weeks ago. And it's from our own government. It's from, it's from our own government, which is really important. Okay. So please be on the lookout for that for my, for my friends here that um, enjoy the What Would You Do series. You know, be on the lookout for that because that's coming. That's definitely coming. Because I think it's important to put it out there. It's probably going to be five minutes long. It's going to be a real quick one. And I just want to put the information out there. And then you guys do with it with do with do it what you will after you receive the information. You know, it's like I'll put it out there. And then, you know, you guys can run with it if you want. Or you could just sit and let it marinate and think about it, you know. But it's out there. And what else? Oh, I have, um, I have some materials for my next reuse and repurpose, uh, project. And it's going to be for my blue jean jacket. I shared it with you a blue jean jacket that I want to remake and reuse. Now I have two or three options of things that I can do with it. So I'm kind of like on the fence about these two particular options. And one is cutting up a sweater that I have that I've recently done videos on. They have like the really pretty blue, um, cool looking effect on the top. I'm thinking about cutting that up and attaching it to my blue jean jacket or breaking apart a dress, this Lane Bryant dress that I have that I don't wear anymore because it has this like this really cool front design on it. And just like cutting that sucker up and putting it on the back and maybe adding some of the fabric up in the front for detail. So I'm really on the fence about this. I'm going to, I'm going to keep on looking at it and make a decision. I'm going to do a video showing you exactly what I'm going to do. Now, if it looks terrible, it's okay. Cause this is my first time trying it, but I feel like I need to try. <laughs> all right. Well, I know this is running a little long now, so I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening and weekend. If I don't get back to you by Sunday and I'm hoping that I can, and then I feel a little bit better. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye.